Okay, guys. So thank you for coming today. So now this year we just started our BYOD program. How do you think it's going so far? Um, I like it a lot because we get to bring our iPads and most of our textbooks are online and we don't, have, we don't have to carry around the big textbooks that weigh our backpacks. Down, make them heavy, yeah, right? Yeah, when yeah. we're done with tests, sometimes our teachers tell us to take out a book, but we can also read the iPads. Uh -huh. Because our books are on the iPads and we can do homework on the iPads, but some of us own our print iPads, so we can email the stuff to our school email and just do it over there. So we don't want to go over Okay, so even if you don't have your device, um, your own device at home, it still works because you have Google Docs, right, that you use constantly. Um, so you're able to do the same work at home. Okay, anything else? Any other thoughts? Um, I like that all of our programs are online and that like, mobility and stuff you can just open up is so much easier instead of having to get a pen and um, a book and write. It's just, just typing everything out and it's all stored. Okay, so Notability is a note-taking app that you use. Okay, and then what do you do with those files? Do those sync with your other accounts, or how does that work? Like with um, Google Drive, can you get them? Yes, you, um, you can open up Notability into Google Drive and say you have to submit something, because um, a site that we use called Photo, and you can open up the Google Drive and then you can submit something to it, and it opens up into Google Drive. So it's, it's much easier. Okay. Great. So now, how much of your work gets submitted online? A lot of it? Like, what percentage? I know for my class, most of my stuff gets submitted online. But what about, like, with your other classes, too? I would say, like, a little more than, like, over 50%. Over 50%. Yeah. Like, yeah. 60 around like, 60, that. 70, because yeah. some of our projects, what we do is that um, we, sometimes we have to write an online piece of graph paper, like, for math. We can't. It's very difficult to do on, on like the iPad because you can't like read it. Right. We don't have the graph paper. We don't have the graph paper because the measurements and everything. We uh -huh. put a rule on it. Uh -huh. So um, some of the stuff we have to put on like regular paper, but other stuff we put on our computers and it really works. Okay, um, great. Now, Marissa, you just started using a device this year. How are you finding it? Was it a big adjustment or not too bad? Great. What about the ability to find um, information? Like, is it like, do you ever have to, if you need to know something, you can just look it up right there? Do your teachers yes. do that with you in class, or is it? It's so yeah. much easier because instead of having to get a textbook and have to actually possibly look through the book, all you have to do is just go on those, like, go on Google or any other working station and just type it in, and it'll pop up, and there's all various answers. Uh -huh. Yeah, like when we uh, do definitions for Mr. Hansen with vocab words, we can just go on um, Safari and type in the word for the definition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it'll just come right there. Okay, cool. What are some other things you've done with them in classes? Um, in science, we took pictures of the trout eggs that we were going to do, and we just had a, a label all the stuff. Oh, very cool. What else? Um, like on our iPads, there's an app called Ed Creations, and we can take pictures and we can actually like draw in pictures to like to say it like more so trout. So say if you want to like label the eyes, we can draw a circle with the eye with the arrow and then write where the eye where the eye is located and what the eye does and like more information about it. So that's really helpful. Very cool. How do you like you? Somebody mentioned before. I think it was Brianna mentioned Edmodo. So, what is Edmodo, first of all, and how do you like using it? Um, Who wants to tell me? Edmodo is a site where teachers can post homework or projects, and you can do your work online and then submit it, like, from Notability or any other place where you can rotate. And then you click Google Docs, you can copy and paste the link or just open it up into Edmodo, and then you can just submit it to your teachers. Okay, great. 
Now, how is using it, Moto? Is it easy to use? I know some kids find it a little bit difficult. Some kids seem to like it. How do you guys find it uh, yourself I think it's personally? It's kind of easy because most of our um, posts from the teachers are on it, and it'll say, like, uh, turn an assignment by whatever date they give you, and then you could just access the file from your backpack or your Google Drive in your backpack. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, when a teacher posts something on Emoto, um, it usually comes in through our email. So while we're just like, say if we're working on a project on science, we um, can just go on our email and our post will be up there. So we just click on the email and we'll be able to do the post right in um, the assignment right there and there. Very cool. So it sounds like you guys are really pretty wired. How would you think you'd feel if we said, that's it, we have to take the devices away, there's some issue, and you can't use them? What do you think? Good, I bad? I would be devastated. You'd be devastated. Well, there's some things, there's everything. I like having a book to look in front of me, but I also like having a device because it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But it would sort of be like how it was a couple years ago when we didn't have the device. Uh -huh. So, so sort of used to it both ways. Uh -huh. So I don't uh -huh. think it would be like the biggest change, but I think it would be a little bit to get used to. Okay. Like Brianna said, with the book, I like having a book, and I like having a device. But I kind of like the device better because having a device helps us focus more. Because like in a book, it's just like there, and you can just flip it and do the pages, and then we would get distracted easier. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the iPads would help us um, focus more. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you have the iPads, it's easier to carry because it's just one device and then it has all the, all the textbooks on it. Very, it's very, easy. It's, it's pretty much easy. very cool. Very cool. Now, um, Marissa, with you guys, because I know the way we work our program, you're responsible for charging it at home. Yep. And um, then you can bring it in, or you can borrow the schools, which are actually charged here. Did you find that a big responsibility, or that was a pretty easy adjustment, too, like having to remember to charge your device? And I, didn't, I didn't think it, I, think, I thought it was a responsibility, because if you don't, if you don't charge it, then you don't have your iPad, and then you can't really um, do what the class is doing, because if they were doing an assignment on the iPad, you couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So... You just have to get used to it and just try to, try to, remember. Yeah, try to remember. What are some of the other apps that you guys have used in class? I know somebody mentioned Edu Creations before and Notability. Anything else um, come to mind? We use Doodle Buddy uh -huh. projects, uh -huh. and that's like an art app where you can draw things and use, you can insert pictures, almost like Edu Creations a little bit. Okay. Um, we have Rover. Okay. Rover is. I would say it's better. It's kind. Of, it's yeah. It's actually yeah, it's better, better than Safari because okay. it has more connection and you're able to access um, more things on it. Like, like our textbooks. Oh, uh, you okay. You need to access the called, the Adobe Flash uh -huh. on Safari. That doesn't work, but on Rover it includes it already. Okay. So that is what we uh, use to access our textbooks. Oh, okay. And when we're done with the test, sometimes Miss Johnson tells us. Play math games. Uh huh. So um, sometimes we can't like play the math games because it's on Safari and we can't access it because, mm -hmm. like John said, we need Adobe Flash. Uh -huh. And um, on Rover, you know, it's already accessed with it, and you don't really have to uh, um, download it just right, right, right um. Okay, great. Now, three of you guys are heading off to high school next year. What do you think? Are you gonna be prepared or what? Yeah. I want to go to see just by the sea, and I know like everything, everything is on the devices, and so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it's not going to be as hard because we have uh, experience and background for uh, with the devices. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a little adjusting because now you don't have any textbooks, you don't have any notebooks or pens or pencils. All you have is your device, and you have to rely on it mm -hmm. for a lot of things. And the only thing that I'm a little like iffy about is that what happens if break it, hmm. like what are you going to do, how are you going to get all your storage and all your backup, right, but right. they said that they can like plug it in and get all your information. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Um, I want to go to 
Monsignor Farrell, and they don't really use iPads, so I'm going to go back to carrying all those books and like it was a couple years ago, mm -hmm. but hopefully they get iPads. Yeah, they may. Well. They may, right? What's been the biggest challenge? What's I would say not dropping the iPad. Not dropping the iPad, <laughs> especially in the crowded hallways, right? Yeah. yeah. You tell us what you're to go with, what you do, but sometimes, like in class today, someone turned around and back to the side, and some back and it slammed right on the ground, and it was turned right, and the entire screen turned right, but we had like a fresh air, and then finally. It was oh, there. well, I'm glad but to hear that. You, but like, the obviously, the biggest challenge was not dropping because if you drop it, then it's probably, well, if it's yours, then. Yeah, it's totally property because, um, yeah. <laughs> because you have to like, pay like, the money to get right. one. But if it's out or if it's at the schools, yeah. then it's on you to get the money back and to get a new iPad and mm -hmm. to, you have to, like, we made like a contract that we will not lose the iPad, that we will not break the iPad. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of like violating that contract with the drop it. Okay. I think what Michelle said about when you drop the iPad, if you break it, you have to pay for it. So yeah. even if you dropped your iPad, it's not like you're losing your iPad because if you drop the school's iPad and break it, it's not yours. Yeah. So if you pay for it, it's not even like you can use it yeah. again next yeah. year. Right, right. So if you dropped your iPad, your parents or you could just repay for it. And right, get you still one, have it. And you'll have it. Right. So and it's a little like worse. Another big challenge is staying focused with them, mm -hmm. with the apps and all the games and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Like during class, we're not supposed to be on it sometimes. Right. People get caught on it and then they get taken away and they yeah. suffer consequences. <laughs> then hopefully you learn from yeah, that and it doesn't happen too often. Any other challenges? No? No? You're good? So Marissa, with you now that you're um, you're in seventh grade now, so you're having it for two years, so that'll, so that'll be good, I think you'll... Yeah. Any, do you find that any of your classmates have some issues with them or is everybody pretty much on board, enjoying it? I don't know, some kids just like go on it and do whatever they want and mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. most of the time the teacher will catch them and right. take it from them. Yeah, but hopefully that's going. Yeah, yeah. it goes it's, away. It's it's they learn. Yeah. Yeah. It's starting to like, stop. Some people, they leave the iPads on the desk mm -hmm. during yeah. lunchtime. Yes. So, um, my teacher, Mr. Johnson, she gave us an example. Like, what if someone was walking through the whole week that weren't, that like, that was not part of the um, St. Clair family? Right. And they were just, say, I don't know, fixing a light bulb or something like that. They yeah. would just come in the classroom just take the iPad. Right. And the person who owns the iPad will not, like, find it. So that's why you have to keep it either in your desk or um, in your school bag. Good. How about um, any issues with, like, the Internet access, or has that been going pretty well? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's pretty good. Thing. Yeah? Yeah. And it was a lot of work, We what we did here, just so you guys know, because I don't know how much we explained it, for the last two years, we've been upgrading our network just so that you wouldn't have problems, so that it would be a good experience. So, any other thoughts or comments you'd like to add? All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.